It was the picture in the missing persons poster. Smiling teen with compulsory iPhone. Mid-text or tweet. Today, new photos. Released to illustrate a CPS review. The question, if Arnus Zolkans hadn't taken his own life, would he have been charged with the murder of Alice Gross? The answer to that question today was yes. And with it, new details emerged. This is the anatomy of that terrible crime. You may remember the footage of Alice power walking along the canal and Zarkans following behind. After catching up with her, a window of 80 minutes, during which time he murdered her. Now new footage shows him directly afterwards leaving the scene. Throughout the next 24 hours, he returns again and again. In between, a visit to a local off-license, shares a joke with the shopkeeper, then returns again. At the time, many questioned why it took police so long to find Alice's body. All these visits, part of the answer. He'd gone to enormous lengths to conceal her. She was tied up, she was placed in bin liners, um, she was also weighed down with a bicycle uh, wheel, and on top of those bicycle wheels were bricks. And then on top of that, there were large tree trunks, a number of large tree trunks that had been placed over her body, weighing it down, pushing it into the silt of the river. It emerged during the search that Zolkan, a Latvian national, had been arrested for a sexual assault on a 14-year-old girl in London in 2009, but she didn't press charges. At the time, police did not routinely check for foreign convictions. If they had, they would have discovered that Zolkans had murdered his wife in 1998. In 2006, we conducted about 570 checks. That increased in 2013 to about 60,000 checks. And this year, we're looking to double that number. It sort of begs the question, why so few back then? Well, that was simply things, yeah. the, the way things were in those days. Foreign nationals have been identified in terms of the potential for offending in the UK. In a statement today, Alice's family also asked questions about this. They praised the sensitivity and dedication of police as well. They also thanked those who had contributed to Alice's youth musical, Memorial Fund.